I've been designing bikes for almost 20 years now. And throughout that process, I have that design bias. I built it like this, that part went to the Olympics. It has to be good. But I can make it better. And ANSYS helps me find the way to make it better. For us, being able to work in conjunction with our software is really important. In Discovery, we're actually able to do it in real time. So we're literally watching the solver work and it's solving the problems in front of our eyes. I feel like I, I see it thinking. It's understanding the problem and it's trying to solve it. And I see it in real time in front of me. So with that, it actually helps me design a part better so I can make my next version quicker. We can adaptively move it. For example, in the Genius Cage, we actually went into Discovery about two and a half, three hours after we, we came up with the concept. By the end of that day, we had been printing our first prototype. Within the first week, we had our first samples ready to go out to customers to test. So with the ability to see it in real time, it has drastically reduced our go-to-market time. There's all of these questions in manufacturing and ANSYS helps us answer those questions before we even make our first prototype. With ANSYS Startup, we not only were able to get into ANSYS products, but we were also able to have a partner help us along the way. We started re-exploring our approach to additive because we had tools like topology optimization inside of Discovery. With the help of ANSYS, I've learned to design even better products. So it's really just kind of opened up the doors for us to be able to think about how we design, how we manufacture, and what we're gonna build next.